Greetings all. Um, so I just wanted to give you a, a quick, uh, my, my own review of the uh, Sgt. Pepper Deluxe Remix box set, everything, the whole thing. And um, I thought to do that, I'd just give you my top 10 things um, personally that I thought was just fantastic about it. And um, I'm doing this by the way, on, <clears throat> I'm doing this by the way on the 1st of June, 2017, which is exactly 50 years ago to the day that it was released in the UK. And um, my understanding is at this point today, it's the number one album in the UK album chart. So pretty good going. Anyway, um, my overall view of the, um, the remix reissue deluxe box set is it's brilliant, it's fantastic, and it does everything that I think most um, Beatles fans are expecting it to do, if not a bit more. Um, <clears throat> I had to go for the full on super deluxe box set. Um, anything less than that would have been just, you know, not good enough. And I'm um, really pleased that I did. And I've had it now for about five days and still haven't really gone through everything that's in there. Um, but anyway, my number one, my number one thing in there is really listing it on Blu-ray. Uh, because there is a Blu-ray disc in there and you've got like an interactive little um, album cover with the, the different sort of elements of it, you know, appearing on the screen and then going off and then coming back. So a sort of animated um, thing going on there, but the sound quality on Blu-ray is fantastic. And um, you've got several different listening options. So if you've got 5.1 surround sound, you could do that. Um, I'm just listening to it on my, through my sort of sound uh, plinth with my TV, which has got decent speakers on it, and it just sounds amazing. I think that it's um, just the sound quality, the depth of it is amazing. It's really, really good. Uh, I think um, it is probably the Beatles release that I've been most excited about um, since maybe, I don't know, Anthology 2, which was about 20 odd years ago now, 21, 22 years ago. My number two is the, uh, is the vocals on Good Morning, Good Morning. This is a song I always quite liked, but listening to it on the new remix, the vocals just sound really sort of central, got loads and loads of punch to it. It's quite a sort of a rocking song, and I you know, maybe hadn't fully appreciated it before, but now, wow, fantastic. Uh, my number three would be the sitar on Within You, Without You which is just superb. The clarity on the new mix is fantastic. And what I really like in the Super Deluxe box set is you get to hear some studio outtakes of George coaching the Indian musicians on um, you know, how to play the track and what it should sound like and just a little sort of insight into how it, how it evolved, how it, how it uh, developed in the studio. Um, my number four is just the, the oomph and um, sort of group uh, feeling that you get in the, uh, the Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band reprise, um, so the penultimate track on the album. Um, just sounds brilliant, all four of them really, really going for it. It just sounds like it's, you know, recorded live. It's almost the, the mix makes you really just feel like it's, it's right there with you. So that's, that's a fantastic high point. Um, my number five are the, uh, the drums and the bass on uh, Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. And um, this, especially in the chorus, it really just kicks in. Ring, in fact, Ringo's drums, I think, all the way through the album are really up there. They're really brought forward, um, as is the bass. You sort of hear it really, really clearly. It's like you've been wearing earmuffs, you know, for the last 25 years, and now it's... Wow, fantastic, you've got it all. Um, my number six is the, um, the various versions that you get of She's Leaving Home, the sort of instrumental, there's a, a one or two instrumental versions. Um, sounds fantastic. I'd always like the, the mono um, album um, and the, uh, the version that you get on there of She's Leaving Home as it was probably supposed to sound because apparently they spent like two or three weeks mixing the mono in the studio and only about two days or something uh, mixing the stereo so a lot more emphasis given to to what the mono sounded like they've got the sort of the right speed of it on uh, the new mix and the instrumental version itself is just like you know wow 
that's a trek in its own right, fantastic. Um, my number seven is all the posters that you get with the deluxe box set, brilliant. Um, don't suppose I'll be putting them up on the walls, but um, yeah, really, really nice and um, you know, good little addition to the set. And I, I have, uh, I haven't gone down the road of cutting out the uh, the moustache and the sergeant stripes and the little card insert yet, but I've been quite tempted in doing that. Um, my number eight is just the, you know, from the first track, it's the sort of, the music feels really full on. Um, I've heard it described as being very muscular. It's a really sort of rich, uh, deep uh, sort of mix of the album. Sounds brilliant. I just love it. I think this is going to be my, my go-to version of the album now. Other than the mono, probably will listen to that a bit as well. Probably will we'll never listen to the, the previous stereo mix. Again, it may be just for reference, just to remind myself how great this new mix is in comparison. Um, my number nine is um, the harpsichord that you get on Fixing a Hole. This was probably one of my least favorite songs on, on the, the album uh, previously. It's probably come forward a bit uh, since I've heard some of the studio outtakes and the, just really appreciate the, um, the, the song and the, the, the sort of backing uh, with it now. And then my number 10, um, last but not least, is what you get in the, in the book, which I've got here in front of me at the moment. And um, the, my favorite thing that I've read in, in here so far is um, Howard Goodall's essay on Sergeant Pepper's musical revolution. So uh, Howard Goodall is a sort of um, classical uh, conductor, composer, um, really, really fantastic. He's done a very good analysis of Sergeant Pepper, the actual music, um, but also the sort of impact um, that it had on sort of culture and art um, in the, the decades to come. So that is, that is a fantastic addition to it. So I think that's my 10. Um, it's a brilliant album, absolutely love it. I think, you know, Apple and um, everyone should think really, really carefully um, because I think this has been received so well they should think about doing this sort of thing with um, some of the other Beatles albums so you know I'm looking forward to maybe Happy Road or the White Album or Revolver given the same sort of treatment um, I'd buy it anyway <laughs> okay cheers everyone thanks a lot keep on rocking